These are the wheel arch covers for the TR4 up until the TR6. Uh, the shape of them is exactly the same. However, uh, one major difference between the TR4, 4A, 5, 250 versus the TR6 range is the colours and more importantly, the piping colour. So the TR4, 4A, uh, 5, 250s always had white piping as original. We can obviously offer different shades if you prefer, whereas the TR6 featured same color piping as the main trim so strictly speaking these are not tr6 these are purely for the tr4 4a 5 and 250 models this is actually for a tr 4a i believe customer down in london um so you get a pair of them they these have been done in vinyl uh we can supply them in leather obviously uh they've got the white piping as original now this is actually the white plastic piping which is strictly the exact original stuff that triumph used um we can supply black and white in the original plastics but what the rule of thumb is that we do if you only order panels from us and you've ordered white or black uh, piping we will use the plastic as original however if you order seats from us as well um, we will then change the piping to a leather cloth material uh, the reason for that is the plastic piping on the seats looks a bit naff uh, it doesn't hold the shape very well uh, so leather cloth piping is a lot um, more rigid and secure on that uh, and it looks a lot nicer so we always try and match up the pipings between the panels and the seats if you've ordered both from us going back to these wheel arch covers they are pre-sewn so two bits sewn together as you can see with the piping going down there this is the right hand wheel arch so that's the top of the car front of the car back of the car uh you get the cutout here obviously for the rear shelf area um it is uh cut bigger than you need basically on this area here so you'll probably fold it down and go onto the the flat of the rear shelf and the vertical of the lower bulkhead here to allow a nice easy fit um you also get three mil foam paddings for underneath them uh, they're supplied in two separate pieces and the idea being that when you've glued those onto the bodywork of the car you place the flange of the piping this area here in the ridge that you've created over the wheel arch of the foam doesn't really matter which way that flange goes whether it stays on the vertical or goes on the horizontal as long as it always stays that way you don't want it crossing over because that will make the piping lump up um, normally you find piping wants to naturally lie one way either vertically or horizontally depending on how it's been sewn so always just go with whatever's the easiest way that it wants to go naturally so you get a pair of those per car